Hello everybody, this is Hamid from Critical FX. So, uh, in the Facebook community for uh, Thinking Particles, I want to give a shout out to uh, Ali Kaiser, I hope I pronounced that right, um, who's been asking for some simple uh, TP destructions and workflow method. And as a new beginner myself, I just want to show uh, the workflow I use and how I adapted it um, and it's basically a pretty simple setup I just want to show Ali and uh, this is basically going to be a two-parter so this one will be will be set up from very beginning how we set up the whole scene and we're going to use a teapot uh, to disintegrate uh, with volume breaker and then in the next part where we're going to add in some uh, dust uh, and smoke elements uh, either with fume effects or phoenix so stay tuned for that so uh, let's dig into it. This is Max 2016. All right, let's start with creating a floor. And let's bring in our famous teapot. All right, let's add in some segments. Okay, and for the floor, I wanna rename that to the floor. And let's give it some length and width, like so. All right, and we're gonna use a, a wind as a force here. <coughs> So let's go to the wind and I want the direction come from right to left. So let's align this a little bit. Let's add in, lower the strength, bump up the turbulence. Let's say two frequency so point of five. Okay. Now let's go and add in our TP. And always start just creating a bunch of groups and the same with dynamic sets. Create a bunch of those. And it's a, actually it's a good habit to put them all in one when you do the caching. So let's see. Let's just name this teapot okay and the same thing here this is gonna be the actual teapot and we're gonna have fragments uh, let's just set up a small frags as well as we're gonna have a, a floor that's for sure Let's see if a shape collision put the floor in there. And I want to create a group where I want to put child groups in there. So this would be the parent, and this parent should affect the below groups with force. Affected by force, so this could this could be the pieces we're gonna have scattering around. So let's just move that up like so. Okay. Now it's always a good thing to colorize things. So just to keep it organized for the frags, I always use a red color. For the small frags, I use a yellow one. Like so. And we can click off edit on the fly, so we'll see our updated parameters uh, changes in real time. And I also want to go down to per half frame, so it samples per half frame as it samples this three down. Okay, go in, uh, let's create our first dynamic set. We want to bring in our teapot, so that means. Let's bring in an object to particle. Rename this to 
teapot. Go in here and pick the teapot. We got the floor as well. We can just uh, remove, select it like that. Put in the group teapot. So now this teapot refers to this. And instant shape. You see the green color? Because of the green color, we've chosen the group hierarchy. And let's just choose hide, like so. And it's updated. Go, go. Shh. We'll go down here to wireframe. Okay. Um, so that's the teapot. We also want our floor in here. So let's just hold shift, duplicate this, rename this to floor. From the list, we remove all, pick our floor, like so, and then group it to the floor as well. And we're not going to track this either, so I'll just leave it on, but we want an instant. And for the teapot, object particle. Because we've got those pieces uh, gonna fly away, so just in case, so TP doesn't uh, act weird. Okay, so now we have the teapot and the flow in. Let's create our shape collision. We could use our bullet solver, but uh, I like the shape collision for this uh, exercise here. So for the shape collision. We want the affected by force as the active group and the deflector should be the SC group like so. And let's also get in some gravity here. And this will be our group called affected by force. So frags and small frags will be affected by this. And for this we gonna have our standard force here and as you see the wind is already in the list because of TP.6.6 .6. you don't have to use space warp to link them together so we just choose activate so now it's activated and the same thing with the uh, we also want a force in here should come down downwards so let's see like negative 25 uh, it's always a good thing to uh, put up your scales on the beginning so once a unit set up meters I actually want to work in a uh, centimeters not working that large scale right now so one unit is one centimeter that's okay with me okay and then of course you have to adjust this again whoa that was a huge number like so okay and then just double check if any values are wrong here on our teapot everything looks good um the the floor itself make sure it has the right color so we know yeah it, uh, that's just another way of visually debugging so that's set up now, and the gravity is set up. So now we need an activator. Activator. So for our group, the teapot, we'll add in our volume breaker. So for the volume breaker, we're going to add to the Frax group okay and this point is always good to uh, save your files so I'm gonna save it okay after saved it let's continue okay so we have the volume breaker the teapot set up so let's see here how do you want to activate this well we want to use our helper for this so Look at the top window, and uh, we'll go. Okay, let's go into the helpers. Uh, <coughs> we want a point. Put it over here. Make it a box. Make it a little. <coughs> bump up the size. Okay. 
Okay. And we want to animate this also. A good thing, a good uh, tip here is to tick off real time so you'll have a much smoother and faster preview. Um, let's just bump it up to 250. 250. Auto key on and let's go to frame 120. And we'll bump this over here. Turn off auto key and let's see how the animation looks like. Is definitely kicking in. Okay, so now we want to grab this. Let's <coughs> grab it, pull it in, into a TP so we can get in our volume breaker and then scroll down to our activate helper here. Take the select the pick and choose your helper we just don't want the win here so select the win and remove like so so now we have this and let's see the animation how it's gonna actually yeah it went a little fast but it did activate it actually like so now that's really good so that was what we wanted and uh, because you use a helper, you don't need to bump up the activate uh, uh, parameters, the value in here. And we go down to the raster. 12 and say 3000, like so. Let's play again. Now we have some more pieces. we want we want it all so let's view from the top is it because it's not wide enough it could be so we could it could also be actually the threshold itself so let's first play with that let's go into the helpers uh, activate helper we have it here the threshold is right now 10 let's see if we did 20 16 yeah that definitely that definitely did it and because it's not it's not bound by the gravity inside our TP that's why it just it's not pulled down it's just uh, flying away so I wanna actually with the flow put some segments up here. Give it some thickness. Okay, then we go back and we'll put up another volume breaker. And this one will be the small frags. And we pull up a group of main frags. And here we want the <coughs> velocity to drive the small fragments. So on the output, click on the output. And let's expose the velocity. Particle could go here. Now we want a condition. And we'll use a threshold for that. So put up the velocity. And that should go down and activate the, this volume breaker inside the threshold right now let's just play it without it let's see what's gonna happen let's see because we don't have any value none of none of it uh, of the activation part returns uh, yellow so let's go back and see when is the velocity is within 10 and let's say 60 now let's play it Nothing here. 150, like so. And here. Oh yeah, sorry, of course, for this part, for this volume break, you actually need to activate it because 
So let's just say 60%. So go back to the. Let's go back and try actually to set it at 40 this time. And now let's see. Yeah, now we get some yellow parts as you see. So that did it. Now <coughs> we need to play around with the shape collision a little bit. So I'll start with the. Let's just go to the small frags and for the elasticity, let's bump it up to 60, the dynamic and static friction, put it down to 40, 40, optimize, let's look at it now, yeah, you see the difference but from before we get some, some more chunks, more pieces, um, we can also do the same with the frags, 70, let's bump 30 here and 30 here, Yep, we're definitely getting smaller pieces, so just for the sake here, 10, 25, 30. We're starting to get that. Okay, so let's bump it up to 80% right now. 80% and for the rest of 20 density let's just choose 3000 here let's see it now this might slow down a little bit and yeah, we get more pieces we definitely get more pieces now we definitely get more pieces right now let's make a quick save again Okay, let's just take a look with the realistic part without the edges. How does it look like the floor? And let's play this. Okay. I'm beginning to like the look of it, but we are not there yet. So let's see what we else we can do. The frags, uh, the floor itself, static, 50, 50 here, 80. Quite a few pieces. So let's go back to the threshold. This is where we need to bump things up right now. So. 10 to 80 that should definitely mix and yeah definitely we get more pieces right now we got more pieces so let's just try 30 and 130 here and we still have the 80 percent play it yeah so let's go with the small frags, raster, let's put bump that down, let's see what we get now, yeah here, here all the small pieces comes, Okay, I would actually like to play a little with the turbulence. Let's say six. All right, that was maybe too much. Let's just say four. And also on the gravity. to be pulled down a bit more than that so let's see how this works yeah that definitely 
much better much better so I definitely like where this is going um, let's make another save and check it again yeah they are re reacting with the floor as well as getting into smaller pieces and they are reacting to our our helper here which is a point helper and the whole animation is driven by the wind here and also the force we build inside our GP setup here so the last thing I want to do right now to get us moving on animation before we uh, wrap up this part one will actually be to cache this out so that's why we created this main tree here to call teapot right click cache record teapot save so I'll let this cache out and then I'll be back all right it's cached out so let's take a, take a look at the animation how it looks like not too bad actually I like as, as I mentioned this is just a simple setup uh, I would actually like to go in and remove the ticks oh yeah right there when it hits it I like the way it creates these larger chunks and then as the velocity goes up it goes into smaller chunks okay so this is the main let's make a quick save this is the main uh, drive for this so uh, the next thing what I want is uh, to add in some uh, fume effects create some dust elements uh, smoke coming out of here that could look pretty cool also so uh, that will be for part two so stay tuned and I hope of course uh, my buddy Ellie from Seabass uh, Thinking Particles Facebook group he uh, learn something here he could use uh, please leave some comments Ali if you need additional help for this otherwise see you for the next part take care bye